So welcome, welcome to this session of Everyday Mathematics. Um, so today's problem comes from the MIT 2024 Integration Review, uh, semifinals number two, and uh, problem number one is uh, the problem of focus today, which is the definite integral uh, from x equals to zero to infinity of sine x times sine two x times sine three x over x to the power three. So this is a very interesting problem. Um, before I jump on to uh, solving it, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Um, we couldn't be doing this without your support. So your support goes a long way in motivating us to come back here time and again. Uh, for our first time visitors, just a quick um, review of what we do here at Everyday Mathematics. We just go about and around and look for interesting math problems and we come back and we share with you what solutions we think we fit them. And then to uh, those of us who are coming uh, back, uh, who haven't subscribed, we just mm -hmm. want to remind you, please, uh, if you have time, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. So um, what happens with this problem is uh, the first thing I would like to look at is uh, the integral of uh, sine ax over sine cube, mm -hmm. because we do have these constants here. Uh, there's a reason I'm interested in uh, integrating this. Um, this problem is uh, very uh, similar to um, the integral of half the product of uh, the derivative of negative 1 over x uh, squared times sine x. So the derivative of uh, negative 1 over x squared is twice 1 over x cubed. But now to negate that uh, two, we have multiplied by half here. Now using um, using uh, integration by parts, where we say if you have uh, u dv as your problem, the uh, integration of that is the same as u v minus the integral of v du. Now for this problem, we say that maybe our dv is this initial derivative and our u is sine x. Therefore, uv is the same as uh, a half times negative one over x squared times sine x and then uh, minus uh, v um, V, v definitely um, would be um, a half of negative one over x squared and uh, du would be the derivative of sine x. So going forward to do it, we've seen our uv is one, a half times negative one over x squared sine x and then minus minus uh, a cosine x is going to be our du and then a half uh, one over x squared is going to be our v and that negative was negated with this negative so we have a positive here as you can see here the interesting thing is at uh, the upper limit when x tends to infinity these parts here tends to zero so this entire expression goes to zero when x tends to zero, when x equals to zero, this part tends to zero, and the entire thing goes to zero. So essentially, this entire expression here goes to zero. And we are left with just a over two, the integral from x equals to zero to infinity of cosine ax over x squared. So this equals to this. Now, picking our problem here, uh, sine x, sine 2x, sine 3x over x cubed is the same as, we're going to try and expand this uh, into single um, trigonometrical function expression. So we have sine x, uh, sine 2x times sine 3x is going to be the difference between cosine x and cosine 5x, the difference between this and the sum of that. 
and then obviously divided by two times a half here. So going forward, um, now multiplying sine x across, so we have half cosine x sine x here, yeah, and the minus cosine 5x sine x um, over x cubed. Now this here is the same as, since sine 2x is the same as 2 cosine x sine x, or 2 sine x cosine x, so this here is the same as half uh, sine 2x. And then here, this is the same as um, the difference between cos, uh, sine 6x, the sum of this, and sine 4x, the difference of this. So uh, pulling half out uh, from here and here, we get a quarter. We have sine 2x plus uh, this negative and negative here makes this a positive. So we have sine 4x minus this sine 6x over x cubed. Very interesting. So um, we do have now uh, an expression where we have sine 2x over x cubed, sine 4x over x cubed, sine 6x over x cubed. So we can now use, since we say that the integral of sine x over x cubed is equals to a over 2, the integral from x equals 0 to infinity of cosine x over x squared. So we can use this to replace whatever we see here. So therefore, a quarter sine 2x plus sine 4x minus sine 6x over x cubed is equal to 1 over 8, 1 over 8 coming from this extra half here times a quarter. Uh, the integral from x equals 0 to infinity of cosine 2x a times cosine 2, uh, cosine x is 2 cosine 2x. Cosine 4x, we have a times cosine ax, which is 4 cosine 4x. Cosine 6x, a times cosine ax is the same as 6 or cosine 6x. So this is where things begin to become a little bit interesting. Um, this expression is also the same as uh, 1 over x squared is the same as the derivative of negative 1 over x times, obviously now, what we have in the numerator. Using uh, integration by parts again, so we have uv, which is the product of negative x and 2 cosine 2x for, uh, plus 4 cosine 4x minus 6 cosine 6x. And then minus 1 over 8, the derivative of the numerator, which is now 4 cos sine 2x, 16 sine 4x minus 36 sine 6x. So this has become a negative, has remained negative because the derivative of cosines are all negative. So when we pull the negative out, uh, negative from this 1 over x over and the ne negative from the derivative of the cosine terms uh, means that that is a positive. Um, okay, now interesting thing at the upper limit when x tends to infinity, uh, this part tends to zero. So this terraform is equal to zero. At the lower limit when x equals to zero, this is one. Um, sorry, there is a two here. Oh, I forgot that. So there is cosine zero is one. So we have two plus cosine four x becomes zero. So two plus four minus six because cosine six x is also zero when x equals zero. So this entire thing goes to zero from this entire component goes to zero. So this term goes to zero. And now we are left with that uh, interesting uh, term. So we are left with uh, zero minus one over eight, uh, the integral of four sine two x plus cos uh, 16 sine four x minus 36 sine six x. Now, uh, the zero is zero. Now this negative here and this negative interact. And so we have the integral uh, for one over eight times the integral from x equals zero to infinity. Well, this becomes positive. So we have 36 C side sine 36, not status, sine 36, sorry. Uh, sine six x minus four sine four x. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is, uh, this is sine two x, and then minus sixteen sine four x. Many apologies for uh, this oversight. So, um, and since uh, if you have sine a x over x, when you integrate that from x to zero to infinity, and you say let u be equals to uh, a x, uh, 
definitely du d du is the same as uh, a dx and dx therefore is the same as uh, du over a and so in place of sine ax we have sine u and then in place of x we have u over a and then du so this goes up and so this and that cancel out and so we're left with uh, sine u over u and then uh, from u equals zero to infinity this is a very popular integration uh, you can use integration uh, using the Feynman integration trick or a differentiation under the integration sign and we know this to uh, be a pi over two so all these uh, independent terms um, again as I said this is 6x this is 2x uh, apologies uh, this is 4x um, and not that so uh, the constants are correct so this is the same as uh, 6 uh, 2 um, and this is 4 right um, so the constants are correct so we can pull out the constants and we are left with sine x over x since we saw that if you had any constant here over x the integral is the same as sine over u uh, the integral of sine over u which is same as sine x over x from x equals zero to infinity uh, and so that is six minus four minus 16 is the same as 16. Uh, so 16 over eight, uh, the integral of sine x over x from x plus zero to infinity, which is two, since we know this is the same as pi over two, we have two times pi over two. And so the answer is uh, uh, pi. So that is uh, uh, the answer for, for this problem. Um, kind of interesting. Um, I hope you did enjoy uh, following along. Uh, if uh, you have any questions or you have any other proposed solutions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and uh, we'll definitely enjoy interacting with you. Uh, until next time, bye-bye uh, and it was fun hanging out with you.